Folks, the past couple of days, there had been some reports swirling around from a couple of reporters talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo at some point this offseason. Now, I've seen a lot of national media talk about this, and it has definitely been a conversation that has been picking up steam the past couple of days, and I wanted to talk about this in this video today. Not to agree with the reports, but in fact debunk them, because no, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not going to be trading for Jimmy Garoppolo this offseason. Now, I know what you are thinking, James, if you think they're bogus reports, if you disagree with them this strongly, why the heck are you talking about it? Well, I always feel it's important to talk about these reports to set the record straight, because it is important. If national people are talking about this and all these conversations are happening, then there's a good amount of people who could get the wrong impression and actually believe that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will trade for Jimmy Garoppolo at some point. I've had questions about this situation already brought up to me, so I wanted to set the record straight based on all the information that we have now from the past couple of days that have disputed these reports and give a video talking about this to kind of give some more clear information as to what is going on with this situation. So, with that being said, let's talk about the reasons as to why this is not going to happen. Uh, the first biggest reason is because the agent of Jimmy Garoppolo, Don Yee, said that it is a false report and there is no merit to it. That's a pretty big reason. If the agent of the player is coming out and saying, hey, no, these reports are not true, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not interested in Jimmy Garoppolo, then yeah, I think that that is a pretty reasonable thing to believe there. You also have Tampa Bay Times writer Rick Stroud, who is, in my opinion, one of the most credible Tampa Bay Buccaneer reporters in the business today, come out and say, yeah, no, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have no interest in trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. That's two for two on the verification scale, in my opinion. I believe the word of Rick Stroud. I believe the word of Don Yee, the agent of Jimmy Garoppolo, when they say that, yeah, there's no interest there from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is the, you know, big reason, right? But kind of breaking it down more as to some of the other smaller reasons. First things first, folks, money. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers would not be able to pay Jimmy Garoppolo. Right now, as it stands, I believe Garoppolo has a cap hit number of around $25 million, something along those lines. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers can't pay that, nor should they. Uh, right now, as it stands, the Bucs have, I believe, $12 million in cap space, and it's no secret what the Buccaneers are going to use that money for. They're going to use it to add a little bit of depth, possibly at edge rusher, possibly at defensive line. They're also going to use it in case of a rainy day if they need to add more depth later on along the lines. That that is what that money is for. It's not to pay a backup quarterback. Keep in mind that word backup in terms of addressing Jimmy Garoppolo's position on the team here. They can't afford to pay him first and foremost. Also, they don't need Jimmy Garoppolo on this roster right now as a backup quarterback. You look at the team already, this quarterback room, you have Blaine Gabbert, you have Kyle Trask. They're going to be battling for that backup quarterback position. I've already talked about that at length. They love both of those guys, especially Blaine Gabbert. We have heard the coaching staff talk multiple times about how they feel. He is one of the most underrated backup quarterbacks in the league. You also have young developmental quarterback Kyle Trask battling him as well, who the coaching staff has a good amount of trust in. Again, Jimmy Garoppolo isn't necessarily needed in this quarterback room as a backup quarterback, and you don't need him as a starter either, because guess what? Tom Brady is here as the starting quarterback for another season. Now, if Tom Brady did stay retired, yes, there may have been some credence to the idea that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers may have wanted to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. But guess what, folks? Tom Brady came back to the team. He is their starting quarterback. The quarterback room is set. You have your starter in Tom Brady. Uh, possibly one, or I guess I should say, one of the best starters in the league right now. So yeah, I think that that's pretty much set in stone. There's going to be no discussion about that. And you have two quarterbacks at the backup position with Blaine Gabbert and Kyle Trask, who the coaching staff trusts, who they want to see grow and develop and are confident in their abilities as the backup. There's not a spot here for Jimmy Garoppolo, not as a starter, not as a backup. The money doesn't work. And of course, again, this kind of smoking gun point here, the agent of Jimmy G and one of the most respected porters uh, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the game right now, both said, 
yeah, no, that's not happening. So you take all that together, folks, and yeah, these reports are not true, in my opinion. You know, I don't know what information those guys got whenever they did talk about those reports. I have no idea. I'm not going to attack their credibility or anything along those lines. They may have gotten some misinformation from whatever their sources are. But at the end of the day, folks, no. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are not going to be trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. That's not happening. I wanted to make this video to help set the record straight because, again, I saw a lot of people talking about this report. It's a slow time in the offseason, folks. You've probably even seen it on this channel that... Yeah, there hasn't been a ton of content, so whenever something like this does come up, people latch onto it in the national media and, you know, in the fan base and things along those lines. Hopefully this video helps set the record straight, hopefully gives you a little bit more information that you did not know about, and kind of helps you think about some of the reasons that, yeah, this would not happen at all. So, anyway, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.